$3,500 bottle of perfume right here from Roja Parfums, Roja Dove. This is Haute Luxe, and I'm gonna tell you about it and give you my impressions coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose here at Osme Perfumery on a kind of a little bit overcast weekend, but still nice warm weather and uh, perfect to talk about this ambery fragrance because this is still the winter season. And uh, the other day I was in here talking to Maurice and he introduced me to Haute Lux, Haute Lux, which is I think, if I'm not mistaken, the most expensive bottle that Roja Dove sells, at least commercially. Uh, I'm not talking about like a bespoke uh, perfume. But as far as commercially sold, $3,500 bottle of perfume. This is very beautiful. Uh, take a look at this bottle here. Look at the gold flakes. It actually has real gold flakes in the perfume. You can turn it around almost like one of those snow globes and watch it move around there. You can see it. And what am I gonna say? Uh, I know a lot of people are like, of course, nothing is worth, no perfume is worth $3,500. I get that. I'm not doing a video here telling you guys, run out and get this. But this is a true luxury item. And just like in any area of fashion or whether it be clothes or shoes or watches, you know, think about it. There is ultra luxury that bottom line is some people out there have the money and they have money to burn and they can buy something like this. So is this for the everyday perfume aficionado or per perfume fan? Of course not. This is not, you know, someone who likes to collect niche perfumes and has a nice collection. It's gonna be, in my opinion, too much money. But if you're the type of person that has a lot of extra cash, or there's a lot of people out there that do, this is a fragrance that I think it's worth checking out. It is absolutely luxurious. When you first spray it, it is this kind of like almost, I gotta say, it's almost like metallic industrial kind of uh, effect. And that is coming, I think, from the rose. This is, at its heart, an ambery rose fragrance. But at the top, you have notes of bergamot, and then the middle note of Ylang Ylang, Yasmin, and uh, Rose de Mai. Rose de Mai is one of the really, uh, I guess, luxurious, elegant roses that you can have in a fragrance. And hold on a second, let me fix something over here. Camera on the side there, okay. <laughs> this is real live stuff. Um, one of the things Roja also apparently, uh, when I was talking to Maurice, the rumor is, or whatever, that Roja Dove, this is like his personal favorite perfume that he wears most regularly. So, you know, again, not like that's a, uh, a makes a difference, but it's always interesting little facts about a perfume. This was created by him specifically for that ultra luxury market. I think this is very big in certain parts of Europe. It's very big in the Middle East. It's very popular. Probably here in the US, I don't know as much. Just came in to Osme here, so it'll be interesting to see how this does. But look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it on just so you can see me smell this perfume. Because it is $3,500, okay? It's cool, okay? Not saying again that I would spend money on it. Would I know it's $3,500? No, of course not. To me, a good perfume can be $100, a good perfume can be under a hundred dollars. Good perfume could be two hundred, four hundred, a thousand. You know, there's all kinds of obviously ranges when it comes to niche fragrances. But if you want something that's gonna really kind of stand out, imagine this sitting on your <laughs> sitting on your dresser or in your perfume collection and taking that out with those gold flakes. This is this makes a statement. This says I literally have a lot of money and I love perfume and I love quality. It is a quality perfume no matter how you slice it. Roja, obviously one of the uh, best perfume houses or most respected out there. Um, but what I, what I like about this is the opening to me is not my favorite part. 
So again, it's a little bit of a kind of metallic, almost like industrial smell to me. Um, I don't really get interested in much of the bergamot. I think the bergamot is a little bit overpowered by the ylang ylang and the jasmine and the rose. But where this fragrance shines is the dry down. It's very ambery, and that's one of the things he was trying to create this, uh, he talks about, Roja Dove talks about that ambery juice. It's almost like liquid gold. Take a look at that color. Really beautiful, stands out, and apparently this was mixed and mixed and mixed and formulated until they could get that specific color. As someone who has toyed around now for a long time making my own perfumes, it's difficult to create that color. There's probably a filtering process, a lot that has to go into that. So that's it in itself an accomplishment for what they did here. But the dry down again, it has this benzoine, cinnamon, it's got, of course, amber, it's got some ginger, labdomen in there, styrax, vetiver, cedar. It's a really just great woody, ambery, little bit sweet dry down that goes on all day. I was wearing this the other day. I put it on around five o'clock in the afternoon when I woke up the next morning. I could still smell it around my neck. It was on me that long. This, the reason why is if you look at the, the note breakdown, there's only a few notes, one listed at the top, bergamot, then three middle notes, and then there's probably, I don't know, 10 to 15 base notes. And base notes are what, of course, give the longevity to a fragrance. They're the, they release uh, their, they evaporate more quickly on the skin, so therefore the slower they evaporate, the slower you smell them, and the longer they last. So that's, you know, fragrance 101. The dry down is amazing. Uh, so for all you big spenders, high rollers out there, this is a fragrance definitely worth checking out getting your nose on. It is a statement piece, both in the collection, in your personal collection, with the bottle, with the juice, with the gold flakes. <laughs> this is gonna be quite impressive, I would imagine, to somebody if you're trying to impress them and you pull this bottle out and you're like, yo, check this out. Um, again, not for me personally because, you know, I don't have $3,500 to go just spend on a perfume. And, and uh, it's one of those things that, you, again, if you've got a, a lot of money, this is something that you want to stand out, check it out. All right, I will be back soon with another video. Just wanted to bring you something a little bit different today because it's not very often you get to see such an expensive, expensive fragrance. And uh, it is beautiful and it is, I gotta say, I, I love it. You know, if it were a lot less money, I'd put it in my collection personally. All right, I'll be back soon with another video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and perfume.